Now, as the trial begins, the forces aligned with the former president are prepared to argue that the trial itself is unconstitutional because Donald Trump is no longer in office. Relying on a fringe legal theory that has been roundly debunked by constitutional scholars from across the political spectrum. Just yesterday, another very prominent conservative Republican constitutional lawyer, Chuck Cooper, wrote in the Wall Street Journal that Republicans are dead wrong if they think an impeachment trial of a former president is unconstitutional. Here's what he wrote, quote, Given that the Constitution permits the Senate to impose the penalty of permanent disqualification only on former office holders, it defies logic to suggest that the Senate is prohibited from trying and convicting former office holders. The senators who supported Mr. Paul's motion should reconsider their view and judge the former president's misconduct on the merits. That's no liberal. That's Chuck Cooper, a lawyer who represented House Republicans in a lawsuit against Speaker Pelosi, a former advisor to Senator Cruz's presidential campaign, driving a stake into the central argument we're going to hear from the former president's counsel. Now, I understand why this fringe constitutional theory is being advanced. For the past few weeks, the political right has been searching for a safe harbor a way to oppose the conviction of Donald Trump without passing judgment on his conduct, to avoid alienating the former president's supporters without condoning his obviously despicable, unpatriotic, undemocratic behavior. But the truth is, no such safe, safe harbor exists. The trial is clearly constitutional by every frame of analysis by constitutional text, historical practice, Senate precedent, and basic common sense. A president cannot simply resign to avoid accountability for an impeachable offense, nor can they escape judgment by waiting until their final few weeks in office to betray our country. The impeachment powers assigned to the Congress by the Constitution cannot be defeated by a president who decides to run away or trashes our democracy on the way out the door. This trial will confirm that fact. The merits of the case against the former president will be presented, and the former president's counsel will mount a defense. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.